as crazy as all of that sounds, it makes a lot of sense. It's hard to believe that when I was introduced to this, I didn't want to do it. A little bit about me, guys. I'm a personal trainer. I own a gym down in Atlanta. Uh, one of my clients introduced me to this program, and I ignored it. I ignored it for three weeks. I wasn't interested. I made the decision to get involved with this off of a why not decision. I was like, if this product works, why not? A why not decision. And uh, I signed up. My first week getting involved with it, I made about $300. 16 days into it, I made $3,000. Eight days later, I qualified for that BMW. Guys, when I qualified for the BMW, that's when everything changed. That's when I was like, okay, this works pretty good. They're gonna pay me to drive a BMW. Um, I've been driving around in this F-150. I was living pretty good. And I said, I'm about to go tell everybody on the planet. Guys, I decided to go out and get as many transformations as I possibly could. Because I didn't have any transformation to give. Not a pound to lose. And I went out and I helped as many people as I possibly could help guys and in, in 28 short months. Right? In 28 short months, guys, I've, I've been able to eclipse $1.4 million like doing this. Mm. Right? Woo! $1.4 million. Two years. And that's, that's life changing. That's life changing. Right? You know, in the process of, 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 of recouping that, guess what? I'm a business owner down in Atlanta. Seven years ago, I opened a gym. Seven years ago. Right? It cost me $35,000 to hear, and now I'm talking to my entrepreneurs right now. I'm talking to my, my people that have ever dreamed of being an entrepreneur. That's me. I spent $35,000 to start my gym seven years ago. That had made me a million dollars. 28 months ago, I paid $500 to start this, to, become, to, 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 to open a Vibe business. And 28 months later, $1.4 million. Mm. God. Guys, I think that's a great return on a $500 investment. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I think it's a great return. And my first business didn't create it. So am I mad as an entrepreneur that my first business didn't make a million dollars before the second one I did? See, this company came up with a system that works. You know, business models are set just for, it's, a, it's called a model. Right? It's a business model. You can't make a, a model airplane out of a model car. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the business model of I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to work for somebody every day, then that model isn't gonna make a million dollars. And if you're the person that raised your hand when Daryl asked you if you'd like to make a million dollars, you need to listen to the person that made a million dollars. If you're if you said that then and you are in the employee mindset, guess what? You're not gonna make a million dollars mm -hmm. ever. Right? If you're if you're if you're in a business where you know you make good money but you can already see that you're probably not gonna make a million dollars unless you know something magical happens, you're probably in the wrong business model. Guys, the business model of this is called exponential growth. The best one of the best things about this industry, you can make a decision today. You may not have great success until you know two years from now. You may not sign up your Ernest Ross, your Daryl Davis, your Coy Lewis, you know, your Stefan Atkins, your Woodrow. You may not sign up your person two years from now. Guess what? There's an opportunity for you two years from now to get free. Mm -hmm. Because when that explosion happens, you'll know it. See, people don't think like that. That's the beauty of this industry. But remember, you're here just to make a, 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 a you're, you're here to make a decision on your transformation. That's why you're here. But now you got an opportunity to not only have that type of transformation, but also to change your your life down the line. And when I when I think about this, has anybody ever in here ever thought about having a global business? Yeah. You know, see, I, in my first business venture, I was going to be local. I was comfortable being local. I was comfortable being comfortable. Anybody in here know what that means? Mm -hmm. Comfortable being uncomfortable uh, means, I put a post on Facebook today, it was real funny. I said, um, people are comfortable making peanuts. It's the truth. I wish I could remember the rest of the post. That's <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? That's what, yeah. 
people are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so they realize they're not yeah, people are comfortable. People are comfortable making peanuts until they realize they're not elephants. It's true. I'm not elephant. Nope. Right? That was my hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> I'm not an elephant. Right? And what that means is this. You could be making $50,000 a year. And to you, that's comfortable. You could be making $100,000 a year. To you, that's comfortable. You could be making $250,000 a year. And to you, that's comfortable. Because what these jobs and what these things will do, they'll burn your youth up. They'll burn your youth up. And when they're done with you, they're done with you. Yep. They're done. See, I, I'd much rather live my life off of what's possible than what's typical. Mm. What's typical is, is, and y'all got bad traffic up here. Bad. Like, the worst. Oh, it's bad too, but I don't have to drive in it no more. So you're right. I like that. Right? That's the point I'm making. And now I got bad traffic too. Right? But y'all have real bad traffic, right? And and, and and I don't even know if y'all have enough roads up here to where y'all traffic be going. Are you flying here at the wrong time? I be like, man, I'm just glad I ain't driving. Like, let me go up on another tangent. So do you understand what I'm saying? What's typical is rush hour traffic. What's typical is being at work for, for eight to nine hours a day and somebody telling you when you can pee. <laughs> That's what's typical. I'd much rather live my life off of what's possible. You know, like B Mac qualifying for his BMW. Yeah. You know, I, I would much rather live my life off of what's possible. That like like Daryl Davis going out and making multiple six figure. I mean, uh, mul multiple years of six figure incomes. You know, I much <clears> rather <throat> live my life off like like Keisha Patterson over here and and and, and just being 